novinha do meu lado Sei que tá moiado, mas pra nós é praia Aqui é só produto bom, bagulho gringo importado Cê tá ligado, nós não fuma I love seeing you happy, I miss seeing that smile, it's been such a long time, and although I don't have you, I know now that I need to, I somehow make you Okay, distillation is a process where a liquid or vapor mixture of, of two or more substances is separated into its component fractions of desired purity by the application or, and removal of heat. This is based on the volatilities, boiling point, and density. Vapor liquid equilibrium, or also known as VLP, is a condition or state where the rate of evaporation, which when liquid change to vapor, equals to the rate of condensation, which when vapor change to liquid. It also can be determined using theories such as Raoult's law, Dalton's law, and Henry's law. There are three types of distillation column. The first one is differential or batch distillation. The second one is flash distillation or equilibrium distillation. And the third one is continuous distillation with reflux or also known as binary system. Okay, this, are, this is our back column distillation. Here I explain each component which involve the back column distillation process. Firstly, this is our back distillation column. Distillation column is used for separating of component in a liquid mixture or volatile constituent. The distillation column is usually in vertical column, whereas the liquid and vapor pairs of mixture are meant to, make, to mix and approach equilibrium. So normally this is a feed where the component of chemicals enter. So this is a mixture where the component of chemicals are mixed. So this is a reboiler. Reboiler is used to heat to, pro, to provide heat to the of the back columns. So this is our bottom product. Next is condenser. Condenser uh, the purpose of condenser to condense the vapor of leaving top tray of columns. So we move to the reflux drum. So reflux drum with fractional di distillation, the return of part of condensed vapor, the fraction wrapping column to assist in making a more complete separation of the de desired fraction. So next is pump. Our pump is device to move fluid back to the column. So this is our this is our top product. So now I will explain about the distillation process in the pack column distillation tower. So first of all, the two or more components in liquid phase will enter through the feed over here. And from the feed, it will enter the mixture tank and the uh, mixing process will occur. These components or these, these mixtures will then be boiled in the reboiler. From this reboiler, the temperature of the reboiler is, will be set up in between the boiling point of the two mixtures itself. From this, uh, in the reboiler itself, the liquid will change into vapor phase. Once the liquid phase in the reboiler is changed into the vapor phase, it will enter this pack column tower. From this uh, tower, the vapor will enter through this stream and next enter to the condenser. In the condenser, the vapor phase will change back into the liquid phase. 
the liquid phase is then entered to the reflux drum. In this reflux drum, the one with the lighter density and the lower uh, boiling point will go out through the top uh, product accumulation place while the the one with the higher uh, boiling point or the heavier density of vapor will go back recycle to the pack column system through this pump the uh, this uh, mixture or the distillate will pump into uh, pump back into the column system and uh, pack column system and then go through back into the reboiler uh, and then go throughout the bottom product so okay guys uh, now let's proceed to how to calculate the distillation stages by using the matcap pin. So for the first stage, we have to plot the graph. This y is rep uh, represent the vapor composition, while the x is liquid composition. And the first step is draw the equilibrium line within this graph. And then the second uh, step is draw the 45 degree line okay for the third step we have to draw the xb xf and xd line so for the xd line we draw it until it, it intersect with the y axis which is called as a rectifying line for the xf line we draw it according to the q line which is q line equal to zero uh, less than zero or more than zero and for the xb line we call it as a SOL line. For the last step, we draw the stages from the XD line and to the XB line. So we calculate for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we got 6 stages. This is the example for the how to calculate the distillation stages by using Metcap field. Process. My baby don't need no one but me from the top over the entire cross-section of the pipe. Gas adduction column is a unique operation used in a chemical industry to separate gases by washing or scrubbing a gas mixture with a suitable liquid. Okay, the purpose of this gas adduction is to obtain or remove the desired component of the vapor mixture with the usage of a liquid solvent based on solubility characteristic of the component towards the liquid solvent. Gas mixture is contacted with a liquid for the purpose of preferentially dissolving one or more components of gas to provide a solution of them in the liquid. Usually, it is used for removal of ammonia, benzene and toluene from the cooked gas and removal of sulfur dioxide from stack gas and carbon dioxide from synthesis of gas. Okay, now we're going to talk about the Gas, bad, uh, pack, bad gas production. Okay, first of all, the liquid outlet is below, and the gas inlet is also start from below. And the gas outlet, outlet and the liquid inlet is at the top of the column. So, and the pack bed, there's a two pack bed and the support grid. Other than that, there's a liquid redistribute, redistributed and liquid collector. This ribbon is a water spray. It is reasonable alternative to the tray tower installation which tray efficiency is low because of this low efficiency very large number of tray will be required so the alternative will be a pack tower Okay, to, I will tell you uh, this is a gas absorption tower or column uh, I will tell you the, how it's processed Okay, the, the liquid, this, uh, this is a liquid left okay, the liquid solvent is coming down from the top of the tower and flows down to the column 
and the gas transmission and the gas inlet will go uh, will from the bottom of the column and move up to the top of the column as the liquid solvent and gas mixture coming from to the contact within the column some of the gases will get absorbed in this the, into the liquid solvent while some of them won't be absorbed move up to the column at top of the gas outlet uh, in the the one in the solvent living within the uh, with the absorbed gas exit at the bottom of the column and exit a liquid outlet. Gas absorption operation, there's two methods which is contacting the gas and the liquid. First of all, it's a counter current operation, and secondly, it's a co current operation. For our prototype, it's a counter current operation whereby the liquid outlet, the gas inlet, is stuck at bottom and the gas outlet and gas inlet is upward. This is because the gas, the liquid inlet will move downward while the, uh, the gas will move upward, which is a counter. This is to increase the efficiency of the gas absorption. Meanwhile, co current are less efficient due to need a higher force to push the water from bottom to up, which is needed a pump. This will increase the maintenance cost and the operational cost for the current uh, the op the gas absorption to work. Okay, so now let's proceed to the counter current multi stage absorption column. Okay, this is the steps on counting the number of stages. Okay, basically there are two ways of finding the number of stages. First is by using the graphically. Um, and the second one is using the Kramsen method or the theoretically uh, method. Okay, firstly, by using the graphically method is basically you have to find the overall balance on all stages, overall balance of the component on A or B or C, which is A is solvent, B is the pure gas or gas or carrier, C is the pure water. Next is finding the total balance over the first end. Component balance over the first n stages. We arrange um, these two equations to get the y n plus one. Then we can proceed to the plotting the graph. Based uh, on this picture given, is we can see here there is two line which is the operating line and equilibrium line. With equilibrium line, we can find based on the data given in the equation. While the operating line is by plotting these two points P1 and P2 which is the coordinate of XAL and YAG uh, which is usually given in the equation 2. Okay, next we move on to the Kramsen method or the theoretical stages. This is the equations and the formula for the Kramsen method. But, however, we have to know that we have to make sure that the flow rate uh, of V and L is constant in order to make sure the operating line and the equilibrium line is in straight line. Also, we have to know that A here is not area but A here is the absorption factor. Okay, this is the graph for the theoretical stages method. Okay. Basically, the plotting line for the operating line and equilibrium line is uh, the same with the um, graphically method however here if we want to find the exact number of stages as you can see I mentioned here for the example as I put X2 here as 10 boxes on the graph paper and here is the number of stages so we use this formula plus the N N is stages in this picture is 3 stages so example is plus 3 and we can get the total number of stages. That's all. Thank you.